did you own a lot of jerseys back in the, in the younger own, days? I've had some, but not uh not a lot. I would say I had I had a few like uh, Adrian Peterson, Barry Sanders, kind of kind of people. Ronnie Lott. As collect them, or you wear them running around? I'd wear them running around. Yeah. Because yeah. there's a kid I know. He's a young kid. He's got your jersey. Yep. He sleeps in it. He plays in it. He wears it all the time. Cool. He's out there throwing the ball around. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool for me. You know, I've been working my whole life to be in this position, to have people and, and kids and things like that, you know, getting my stuff, buying my jerseys or whatever the case may be and wearing them and, you know, feeling proud and happy to be wearing them. Um, you know, it kind of <laughs> kind of makes you feel good inside. Yeah, motivated on focus. Came a long way from the lowest. Yeah, got to get it on my set. Got to put it in motion. That's a draw, son! Come on! As a 22-year-old yeah. quarterback, forget about what you put in. It's like, okay. You're a rookie in the NFL, and these days now, they throw you in the deep yep. end of the pool and expect you to swim. Yep. Just yeah. feel that way sometimes. Crazy. Yeah. In the beginning, um, I would say it felt like that. <laughs> uh, I was just out there trying to make sure that I, you know, was showing the guys that, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here to work. I'm here to uh, learn. I'm here to be a great teammate. I'm here to win games, and that was about it. Having to learn all the plays and um, all the motions and plays and protections and still learning. In the real world, a 22-year-old, short of a startup business and a, a brilliant individual is not going to be the CEO of a company out of yep. the gate. Yep. But you're the CEO. Yep. How do you wear that? It seems so comfortable for you yep. to do that in all aspects of your life. I would say that comes from probably first my parents yeah. um, and then understanding the goals and dreams that I've set out for myself um, and also understanding the example that I feel that I need to set not only from you know myself but um, you know the, the people around me. Here we go, here we go. Good job breaking through. <laughs> Adunze slot left, snap, throwing into the end zone, caught Adunze, touchdown! Caleb Williams, his first NFL passing touchdown goes to fellow rookie Roma Dunze who catches his first NFL touchdown. So I got a kick out of calling your first yep. NFL touchdown pass. And I got a kick out of the fact it was Roma Dunze that caught it. So yeah. you two guys are, are linked uh, for perpetuity. Uh, but just seeing the youthful exuberance, yep. it just reminded me, okay, playing in the park as a kid. I was kind of hoping it would be Rome to be our first touchdown. We had a celebration and everything that we did that was that was planned out. And then I was kind of hoping it wasn't so I could get the first touchdown ball. <laughs> Um, but I told him, you know, if, if it's us, which I of course want it to be, um, you know, he can he can have that ball. But it felt, I mean, it was like the expression I let out was like a, a finally it, it it happened, and it, so now it's uh, you know now it's time to go. Now it's time to let it fly and um, get things going. Being a leader as a young man of this football team, is there anything that's happened that's kind of taken you by surprise that you didn't anticipate? I wanted to be, but I didn't anticipate being a captain. You know, we got a bunch of vets, we got a bunch of great players and things like that. And you know, being a captain was, you know, it was it was a honor. It was a, a super grateful, but it wasn't necessarily the first thing on my mind. I wasn't expecting it um, that was going to happen. So, like I said, truly an honor. 